Hello everyone, my name is Mike, my call sign is KU4UV, and I live here in Kentucky, and I thought this evening that I would show you kind of a quick little video of a uh, crystal radio set that I constructed a couple of evenings ago, and I'll uh, kind of walk you through how I've got this constructed and show you some of the various components in case you're uh, interested in building your own. Um, basically, what I started out with here, this is a piece of PVC pipe, it's about a one and a half inch diameter piece and it's about uh, seven or eight inches long and as you can see I've got some uh, magnet wire uh, that I've wrapped around the uh, the pipe here this is about 200 to 250 turns uh, give or take of uh, number 30 gauge enameled magnet wire like you can find at Radio Shack and several other sources and what I've done is I've taken some sandpaper and uh, along the length of the coil here I've sanded off the enamel coating to where it's bright and shiny that's going to serve for the hookup point for a couple of things and I'll show you here in just a second well one end of the coil here this bottom what I'll call the bottom end of the coil uh, I've taken and uh, sanded off the enamel and I've uh, soldered on a little uh, alligator clip it's got a little black uh, plastic piece on it so that I know that this uh, is what I need to hook up to ground and you can sand the uh, enamel off, or if you don't have sandpaper, what you can do is just take a uh, uh, cigarette lighter and uh, burn the enamel off. I chose to sand the enamel off on this one. You just want to make sure that you get all that enamel coating off so that you, got that, uh, you have a nice electrical connection. On the top end of the coil here, I've done the same thing. I've sanded the enamel off, and I've soldered another little alligator clip on here. And this has got a little uh, red plastic piece on it. And I'll show you what the uh, two pieces of the coil connect to here. This top piece here, where uh, the red alligator clip is, is uh, I've got the alligator clip connected to a little, uh, another little piece of uh, enameled wire. And that piece is going to co uh, connect to one piece of my uh, 365 picofarad air variable capacitor here. You just want to make sure that you uh, connect... Um, one end of the coil to one end of your variable capacitor. The other end of the variable capacitor, the uh, stationary part of the stator, is uh, hooked up a similar way. It's uh, I've got another little piece of enamel coated uh, wire hooked up here and it's going to run uh, down here to the other end of the coil. And this is going to uh, connect to your ground connection. Here I've got my ground connection and I've got another connection here that I'll show you in just a second. What I'm using for the ground here is actually uh, the electrical service ground of uh, my house here. And it's uh, connected to the center pin of the uh, electrical receptacle, which is uh, serving to uh, connect to the uh, electrical ground of the house. And there are several different grounds, uh, uh, several different things you can use for ground. You can use a, a cold water pipe. That'll work just fine or um, the electrical service entrance ground that's usually found somewhere around a uh, um, something like a water heat or something like that or you can just uh, run a ground rod outside in the soil depending on what type of uh, soil content you have depending on really on what part of the country or the world you live in uh, that will kind of determine how good of a ground you have but anyway that's what I'm using as my ground connection the other end of the uh, ground connection here is going to uh, one end of a uh, little Radio Shack amplifier that I have here. Uh, for the purposes of uh, the video here, I'm going to use this amplifier so that you guys can actually hear uh, the stations instead of trying to use the, uh, the crystal uh, radio earpiece. This is what a typical uh, crystal radio earpiece looks like. I've got some uh, alligator clips soldered on here to make the hookup easier. But uh, these are available from several sources on the internet too. I got this one, uh, this particular one from Mouser Electronics, and they can, they still carry the uh, crystal uh, earphones for uh, for the crystal radio sets and things like that. But anyway, I've got uh, one end of my amplifier connected to ground here, and uh, this is my antenna here. This is a uh, this wire here is the antenna. This is about a 150 foot uh, long wire antenna I've used for. Uh, a ham radio transceiver and things like that for but for uh, for the purposes of the video here we're going to use this for the crystal set and as you can see it's not exactly I've got one end of the the wire soldered here 
it's not exactly connected to the coil. It's just kind of loosely coupled here. I've got it, um, some masking tape here just to kind of hold it in place so I can show you what I've done here. But it's not actually sitting on uh, the, the part of the coil that I've got uh, the enamel sanded off of. It just kind of loosely coupled onto it here. Here's a really important part of the any crystal set. This is the uh, germanium diode. This is a 1N34 germanium diode. Uh, I picked this particular one up from the uh, Crystal Set Society, but there are, are um, other sources on the internet and other places that carry them. Uh, you just want to try to get a, a 1N34 or a germanium type diode. They work the best. And what I've done here, the unbanded end, the anode end of this diode, I've got uh, taped, not soldered, but taped uh, to um, uh, the portion of the coil here that is uh, sanded off. I just kind of randomly picked a spot here on the coil that I've got the enamel sanded off of, and I've taped uh, the anode lead or the unbanded end of this diode to uh, a section of that coil there that I've got the enamel stripped off of. Now the cathode in the banded end here, you're going to have one hookup. That's going to serve... Um, as one end of your um, your earpiece, or in this case, the amplifier. This is the other end of the amplifier, not the ground end, but uh, the other end here. And I'll uh, turn on the amplifier here and, and uh, let you see what I've got here. It's around midnight uh, Eastern time locally here, and uh, there are uh, some shortwave stations that are coming in quite nicely here. They tend to kind of bleed over each other, but. Uh, Radio Havana Cube on 6 megahertz was coming in quite nicely earlier. Sometimes turning the, uh, the variable capacitor, but it doesn't really make all that great of a difference here when the shortwave stations come in. I mentioned earlier about this antenna connection, uh, and one of the reasons why it's not directly uh, taped or soldered to the coil where I've got that enamel stripped, I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, here in the town that I live in, we've got a couple of... Uh, of uh, AM radio stations. One is uh, WEKY, it's at 1340 on the AM dial. The other is 1110 AM, that's WCBR. Uh, WEKY, uh, 1340, they are a uh, 1,000 watt, 24 uh, hour station. I don't think they drop their power at night like they used to. They're actually one of my former employers. I worked for the station for three years. But uh, I think we can pick them up here if, uh, if I hold this antenna wire down on the uh, portion of the coil where I've got the enamel stripped, I'll show you. They are an oldie station. And we'll see if we can kind of pull them in here. This is WEKY coming in here. As you can hear, if I find a good portion of the uh, coil where uh, the enamel has uh, been scraped away, it comes in quite nicely. If I leave it, uh, if I leave that antenna connection unhooked, it tends to, to pull in some of the shortwave stations. That's why I've got it unhooked right now. Sometimes the stations come in uh, pretty strong. I had Radio Havana Cuba coming in uh, pretty strong the other evening, but uh, for whatever reason this, uh, this evening it's not coming in all that great. I'll go ahead and turn the amplifier off. And last but not least, uh, try to uh, uh, give you a, a shot of the diagram here. Uh, hopefully everyone can see this. Uh, this is basically how I've got everything connected here. One thing that I left out on this diagram, uh, you want to be sure to sand off all of the enamel on the uh, uh, the coil here uh, when you hook up your uh, 
your antenna wire or if you want to hear some of the shortwave stations like I've got in the video here just kind of get this loosely coupled it's all going to depend really on what part of the country you live in and just uh, something that kind of serves to work best for uh, uh, where I'm at here in Kentucky anyway that's my video uh, the good the bad and the ugly uh, hopefully uh, everyone's enjoyed it uh, all comments are welcome and uh, until next time this is uh, Mike KU4UV saying 7-3